This seller is about an hour away from me, and I bought a 36-inch grading bucket for my big excavator, but they were out of these ripper teeth for that excavator. And if you look here, the seller is away until January 25th. So I think I can build this thing. So take a look at this thing. It seems pretty basic, so I'm gonna and I need it before January 25th, so I'm gonna see if I can build this thing. This is Sean, and today I'm working on making a ripper tooth for my big excavator. So I just went to the metal place and they had this piece of AR-36 sheet right here. Now it's only a half inch thick, so I think it's a little bit on the thin side for making a tooth like this. But I'm just going to give this a try and see what happens. I sketched out something right there and that's based on an image I found online. And so the tooth part will go on here and it'll be in line with this. So I'm going to see if this plasma cutter will cut this and see how we do. Here I'm placing some weld on ears onto the excavator's coupler. I get these on eBay, they're all pre-cut, and you position them onto the coupler like I'm doing here, and then you can build off of that, and everything will be positioned correctly and everything lines up. In this clip, I'm setting up the tooth on the coupler I just built. And so I'm just trying to get it together and get it straight and get it tacked in. If you noticed earlier in the video, the welder I'm using is not a very big one. It's a 220 volt, but it's not very powerful. And so you'll see a little bit later in the video that these welds that I'm doing right here did not hold. I just got this tooth welded in. And so before I get any further with this thing, I just want to make sure it's going to work and not break off. So let me throw it on here and see if I can see what I can do with it.
I pulled out that stump yesterday with this new ripper and that was almost like a proof of concept to me and so I think the design is going to work and so I need to do a couple things this is only half inch steel right here so it's way it needs to be it needs to be a, it's way too thin so I need to reinforce it with some bars across here and I just went to the skid steer parts place and I think I'm going to try to get this to work. So I think I want to blow out some of this with my plasma cutter if that'll work. And get that to sit up in there a little bit better. And I think that'll be a pretty good tooth. I got this tooth right here to go on there. So I'm hoping I can fashion this on here in a way. So let's see if I can figure that out. I think I like the way this tooth is going to sit, but I need to take off this little bit right here. Maybe like right there, so that you have a nice sweep into there. So let me get that done really quickly. But it's on there pretty straight. I think I like it. So you all just saw that tooth snap off and so I think it was my welder is not very big so I'm over here at my buddy Jared's house and I've known you since what 2012 or so at least yeah so he's got a metal shop over here and a much better welder so what do you do here well primarily I make tomahawks and swords and knives and then I dabble in furniture and metal fabrication and inventing and like fixing up shit Okay. And don't make much money at it. <laughs> okay. So your channel is Omnivore uh, Blade Works? The channel is, is YouTube slash SR Essentials. Okay. Because the whole point of the business is called Self-Reliance Essentials. Okay. And so we tried to, to make tools and supply stuff for people to buy that is essential for taking care of yourself, whether it be out in the woods, at home, or in your vehicle. Okay. And we've just fallen short with the retail stuff because I've been focused on knife making all these years. Okay. So I'll put a link to Jared's YouTube channel in the description. If you've got your helmet down, I don't mind that. Okay. This is my priority until all these are machined and, and sold to customers that are waiting for them. So they're all sold, pre-ordered? They're pre-ordered but not paid for, so okay. Um, luckily, I, I don't like holding people's money that long. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty close to what it's going to look like? Yeah, there'll be some grinding done so it's smoother, mm -hmm. and then it'll get heat treated and sharpened and, and then coated with a corrosion-proof coating. And people can get to those? From your website? Yeah, the website is selfrelianceessentials.com or omnivorebladeworks.com. Okay. Om Omnivore Blade Works is the is the my blade making business. Okay. Unofficial business. And I'll put that description or I'll put that link in the description. Yeah, there's the So that's about what it'll look like?
Well, that's the original uh, head style. Okay. Almost original. I've gone through a couple of different iterations. Yeah, of course. And I, did, I couldn't do the machine pockets bef on the heads before I got my CNC mill, so I had to do the holes. Oh, I see. But Those now, pockets are pretty cool. The pockets are stronger than the holes. Here I am back on this same stump, so it's later in the day. We finished welding this tooth back on, and we went out and got a burger, and then I'm headed over here. So let's see if this thing is going to hold this time. So what do you all think is going to happen? Keep watching. Well, this tree here has been dead for a while, so you can see it's dropping branches all over the yard here. So let's see if we can get that taken care of with this new hook.
that worked pretty well. The tooth held up, so that was a pretty big tree and a pretty big pine stump with that big tap root on that on that pine. So I would say this tooth is ready to take out on a job. So I'm pretty excited, and I I definitely owe Jared for welding that thing on there for me. So that was awesome of him.